Hi gang, Scott Davenport here. Uh, last week I did a video on sky replacement with reflections using On One Photo Raw. Got questions, can I do that in Luminar? Luminar's got the AI sky replacement tool. I'd like to leverage that. Can I use that? Luminar is my editor of choice. Lots of questions like that. Short answer is yes, you can. A little extra work to do, but it is manageable. And I'll show you that in today's video. And real quick, thanks very much to the supporters on Patreon. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. So to a sky replacement with a reflection in Luminar. So we've got a sky up here that is very boring. That is reflected down here in the bottom. And I even got a dust spot that I missed, but I'll take care of that later. Let's first deal with the sky replacement itself. So uh, let's do a little, a little basics here. Just accent things a little bit, make it a little bit nicer. I'm not gonna bother with sky enhancer because we're gonna replace that sky with a eye sky replacement and we'll choose a sky, something that makes sense. This is not a dramatic scene. I don't want to change the, the mood overall that much, but uh, maybe something with some clouds. Let's try blue sky three, and that's nice. Let me check one more. I think that one's even a little more well-suited. That just that, that blue kind of suits this scene a little better. and. The blend itself looks very, very good. Everything looking nice there. Uh, we can do a little bit of closing of the gaps in the trees, just a tiny touch. That may not even show up through the video, but it's a beautiful blend, right? So, zooming back out. What we want to do now is take this blue sky number five and have that reflected in the lower part of the scene. To do that, we need to use layers. The sky replacement AI tool gives us the upper part of the scene. It doesn't detect reflections. It doesn't do that automatically for us. So we've got to help it out. So the first thing we'll need to do is go over into the layers tool and I will add a new image layer. The image layer is going to pop up and ask me for a location. Now the skies for Luminar itself is buried deep in the application. Uh, Skylum's got a, uh, a website uh, article in their community that says here's where you can find them all. I'll put a link in the show notes for that. I'm just gonna jump to that area here and I'll choose that same blue sky five and click open. Now the first thing I wanna do is flip that sky vertically and then reposition it so it's gonna be reflecting in that body of water there. So into our layer transform, flip horizontally, and kind of start to drag it down. And what I like to do with my skies, is stretch them out a little bit for the bottom, just so that uh, the reflection has a little bit of, of character there. And roughly align it there. That's pretty good. We'll just say done with that. So I have this layer stack where I've started the process of getting this, this sky to uh, be on the reflected part of the water. And notice I didn't cover the whole thing because I'm going to use some of this uh, reflected trees there anyway. So um, how I like to work with masking is I like to take my image layer, my base layer, and I'll duplicate that and drag that to the top of my layer stack. And now I can do masking on the image that I want and hide things, punch a hole through and reveal what's beneath blue sky. For reflections, I'll begin with a luminosity mask. This is gonna look a little bit strange when it first gets generated because it's looking at the entire scene and I only wanna mask at the bottom. This is our starting point. The next thing, is if you recall, if I turn off the blue sky for just a moment, the brighter areas of the reflection, which were reflecting that bright empty blue, those are the spots that I really want to have hidden on my image layer. Opening up the brush tool, very first thing is invert the mask. And so that will target the brighter areas to be masked away and the darker areas will remain. And the rest is just using the brushing and the erasing 
uh, with a lower opacity. Let's start at around maybe 25 or 30 to just ease the mask in. And let's, let's remove some more. Oops, I guess I want to paint in. I'm sorry, paint in. I want to reveal some more of my, my photo itself. And so as I work through here, revealing more and more and more of my photo. And actually for that edge, let's go ahead and, and just get rid of that hard edge with a 100% brush like that right through there. Okay, there. And then the rest of it can be done to taste. I'll just do maybe kind of keeping a little bit of that color in the deeper, mirroring this part here to here, mirroring here, and just blending that through and getting it done. And that feels pretty good. So that is the technique. And you know, this really, this photo is finished. So we're leveraging the AI sky replacement for the top part of the scene. Go find that same sky image that you used. If you're using your own, it's easy to find. If you're using one from Luminar itself, got to do a little bit of digging. Again, link in the show notes to the article that describes it. And then invert, put that in a lower uh, part of the photo. You'll need to duplicate your base image and then do a little bit of masking and you're all set. So that's how you do the sky replacement, including a reflection in Luminar. Hope you found it useful. Got questions? Go ahead and drop them below and I'll try to answer them as best I can. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.